And another consumer alert for you tonight about how the impending storm could affect your Valentine's Day deliveries. Hasselvella live from a floral shop in northwest Washington with what you can expect come Friday. Hassel. Allison, here at Lee's Flower Shop, they say typically around this time of year, this place is packed. Not so because of the threat of the impending snowstorm. But I can tell you they're hoping two things. One is that people come and buy their flowers early. And two, that Friday is good enough weather-wise so that they can make their deliveries. Good afternoon, Lee's Flowers. The orders kept coming. It's a big mess. But the numbers are low. We know that there's not going to be that many walk-in customers if it does, in fact, snow. Owner Stacy Lee Banks says typically orders are 200 plus. Right now, they're less than half, so she was forced to cut delivery drivers. This is the worst time of the year for florists to have snow because it messes up our deliveries. They're trying to encourage customers not to wait. Tim Franklin listened. It's going to snow tonight, and I want to be able to relax with her and not be out shopping. Know that I've got some flowers coming. This is where a lot of the action takes place. Up in Silver Spring, you have King Line one. at Potomac Floral Wholesale, they heard the storm was coming. Should be within the next, I'm going to say, hour. So they started sending their deliveries to shops earlier this week. They want to be able to get the flowers, process them, and send them out Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They were still doing it today. And are you looking for a long stem or a shorter stem? Trying to get every last flower out of the warehouse. They want the flowers delivered at the office so that when the guy walks in with a dozen roses, everybody see it. Back at Lee's Flowers, they're planning to do whatever possible to make sure that all their customers get their Valentine's Day bouquets. If we have to sleep in here, we'll be here. Rain, sleet, us low. Okay, so the store stays open tonight till 7. They'll be working tomorrow and Friday. By the way, on another note, we're hearing that the Postal Service is telling its customers that there will be some delays in Virginia, especially and D.C. Reporting live in Northwest D.C., Hatsovella, ABC 7 News.